Hi there, I'm Jesse Calvert, and in today's short video, I'm going to show you how to spawn other entities that do not come by default in Gary's mod. So things like workshop weapons and NPCs and things of that sort. So to begin with, we have to find a weapon that we want to uh, spawn in. So I'm just going to come over here to Gary's mods workshop. I'm going to click weapon and let's just grab, I don't know. Let's, let's grab this. Uh, this is the full weapon. No, we don't want to download a bunch of shit. Uh, we'll sort by three months. And let's grab this sounds AK-47. Mostly because I already have it downloaded here. So go ahead and subscribe to your weapon. Um, take note of this ID number right here. This may help you find your thing once it's downloaded. Um, once you're subscribed to the item, make sure you've launched the game once so it downloads properly. And then you're gonna wanna go to the Steam folder for it. You can easily get to this by going to Properties. You get to that by right-clicking Gary's Mod. Go to Local Files, Browse Local Files. Come into your bin folder here. And we're going to want to use this gmad.exe to unpack the add-on. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click the bin folder. I'm going to choose open a new window. That's going to open up this new window here. I'm going to move that over to the side here, move my other one here. Now I'm going to go into the Gary's Mod folder, into the add-ons folder, and I'm going to sort by date modified. So this should then sort here you can find where the item is downloaded. And you can see it's right here. It has the ID number there at the end. So I'm now gonna drag this onto the gmad.exe. It quickly opened up a command prompt window. You might not have seen it, it's pretty fast. I'm gonna scroll back up here to the top and now I have a folder here called silenced AK-47 in the ID. And this is the add-on unpacked. So I'm going to now come into the Lua folder here, weapons, and this is the class name for the item. Um, let me demonstrate with another thing here on the workshop because this is the part that's the most important is knowing what the class name is. So let's say, for example, you wanted, you were making a TTT map for your server. And you know that your server is going to have this weapon, so you don't need to worry about not having it there. So let's say we want, I don't know, let's see. Here, we'll get this TTT FAMAS. So I'm going to subscribe to this. Okay, close that out, go back to my library here. I'm going to launch the game once. All right, and everything is downloaded now. Cool. So I'm going to come back over here to my bin folder and my folder over here, go back to my add-ons folder. I'm going to scroll to the bottom again. And there we can see our FAMAS. So I'm going to draw our FAMAS. I don't know how you pronounce it. And I'm going to drag it onto the GMAD here. And it's created us a new folder. I'm going to go into here and see, we can find under here there's this, like it's no longer under the Lua folder. That's because for TTT, it always ends up under the game modes um, folders. So I'm going to go to the game modes, Terror Town, Entities, Weapons. And this is the class name for the weapon. So I am going to right click rename, I'm going to copy that. Then over here in hammer, I'm going to launch hammer, file, and I already have a quick little demo map I've created here. And what you need to do is just place any entity. So I'm going to use this little info player start. Uh, I'm going to open up the properties window for it. Um, you can use the hotkey alt enter. And where it says class, I now want to paste in my new class name there and press enter and then press apply. 
and it's going to turn to the obsolete icon. And normally, when you get this, that means you've um, you've screwed up and created something that doesn't exist. Uh, we'll get more into that in a few minutes, but for this example, I'm going to save this, move it up a bit more there. I'm going to press F9. I don't want to launch the game. I'm going to click Go. And it's done. So now I'm going to come over here and manually launch the game. And the reason I don't launch the game um, from Hammer is it sometimes doesn't work properly. It doesn't mount things in the right order. Um, I've had instances where the stuff hasn't been mounted before the map actually loads. No idea why that is. Um, so I'm going to click Start New Game. I'm going to have my... Oh, well, first I suppose I need to change game mode. Let's change game mode to... Trouble in Terrace Town. Yeah. Go to start new game. Hopefully, I picked the right one. Do four players, local server. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Prevent winning. Minimum players. Ah, whatever. Let's see if this works. It's been a while since I've started a TTT map from the start menu. I'm usually doing it on my server. All right, there we go. You see our promise is spawned right there. And that'll work for any um, properly named entities here that have a class name. So if I go back up here and go to silenced AK-47, this one is for just sandbox mode. So I'm gonna copy this class name back over here, open this up. I'm going to change that name to that. Click apply, save it, and I'm going to compile. And it's done. Back over here. Launch Gary's mod again. Make sure we're on sandbox, start new game, weapon placement demo. There's our sound stake A47. It's pretty easy, right? But what if what if you wanted to actually have like the model and everything show up in here? Well, that is gonna require creating a new brand new FGD. Uh, FGD Boy, let me make sure I'm getting the acronym correct before I say something making myself look dumb. Here stands for Forge Game Data. Um, you can find all that information here on the Valve Developer Community Wiki. Great place to go. Uh, always make sure you check here before asking questions because half the time it's already been answered. So let us create a brand new FGD. I believe the FGD is by default, yep, are right here in the Gary's Mod folder. So I'm going to start, I am going to do this. I'm going to create a new text document. I'm going to call it my entities.fgd. Yes. Now I'm going to open it with a brand new window of VS Code here. Over. And I'm going to move over the Half Life 2 one as well so that we can look at it. Copy some stuff over. So, what an FGD really does is it's sort of like 
the English to Spanish translation guide kind of thing. You know, like you're visiting like another country and you want to like communicate with people there. So you pick up like a copy of like English to Spanish or German or French. And that's kind of what Hammer does. Hammer uses the FGD to translate basically what it is you want into what the engine expects. So, as an example, I'm going to quickly look for a weapon. 357, uh, no, AR2, let's do AR2. And we're gonna find right here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come over here, paste it in, change this to be the name of our silenced AK-47 here. So this line right here where it says equals, this is the class name, this is like the nice display name. So I'm going to call it silenced AK-47. And there's all sorts of other parameters you can add here, of course, uh, depending on the entity, you can add flags, you can add things like that. But like this is a basic point entity that is using the base weapon here. And if you come over here, you can see this is the base class here for weapon. So by default, this is in the FGD, it's telling it it's going to have these flags these outputs and these uh, key values. Now then, just because you add it to the FGD doesn't make it exist. I could come in here and say I want like mega rocket launcher. And that and I don't have that entity mounted. That it doesn't exist. The engine's not going to know what that is. Uh, when I run the map, it's going to say in the console, like unknown entity attempted to be created, uh, failed at these points, blah, blah, blah. So always keep in mind the FGD is not magic. It cannot create entities for you. It is simply a translation guide. So this is the model to display. And we want to know what our model is. So come back over here. Our model name is going to be models weapons and then the weapon name is this dot MDL here and for weapons usually they're going to start with W for world model C for like the C hand models you might also get V for view model um, but I'm going to just come in here place that name with that one and I'm going to save that and make sure I don't think I have to include anything at the top sometimes you need to do the include base uh, FGD but we're already going to be including it anyway, so we don't actually have to do that. I'm gonna come back over here to the bin folder. I'm gonna open up Hammer. I'm gonna to go to Tools, Options. And right here, you see Game Data Files. I'm gonna click Add. Right now, we just have the Gary's Mod FGD added. I'm gonna go ahead and add my entities and click OK. And then I'm gonna open up this again. I'm going to come in here and you can see this is an error model now because it doesn't understand what model I was talking about. So let's make that model show up for us. I'm going to come over here. To, well, let's close this first. Uh, no. I'm going to come over here to Gary's Mod. Go to Gary's Mod. to go to CFG and we're going to open up mount.cfg. So what mount.cfg here does is it lists things to mount as the name implies. So as an example here you can see I wrote one for a left shark model that I was demonstrating for someone earlier. I'm going to do silenced AK-47 now and this needs to be the file path to the folder. So I'm going to come over here, copy that file path, and I'm just going to come in here and paste it in. And then uncomment it. Save it. Now, if I come back here, go 
go back to my bin folder, run hammer again, we should now see the sounds AK-47 model show up. Hey, there it is. So there's the model. Cool. So now we can like better place that. So if I wanted to route physics, apply world model, let's say table. We want a table. Sure. We'll use that one. That could be, is that static? That is static. Okay. That's fine. Go. Just gonna eyeball that like that. Move that over here. I kind of want it like laying on its side, you know? So I'm gonna do 90. And that should like fall nicely on it. Run that. That's done. Back over here. Hit play. Start a new game. Select the placement. model flew over here. It's kind of stuck under the ground. This one probably has like a wonky collision model is my guess. Uh, where, where are you? There you are. Oh, there it is. I can kind of see it briefly. So yeah. Like, let me see if I mainly spawn one in here. It's got, a, it's got a bad collision model. In fact, come in here at hammer. Double click on this. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can't really look up there. But yeah, you can now come in here. Actually, I'll do this. Okay. Seven should show up right here. So there's the AK-47 model now. If I click collision model, yeah, look at that collision model. That thing is not even on the gun. It's like three feet above it. That's weird. So yeah, that is why that is kind of wonky. Um, okay, so it's just a bad model. But yeah, that's gonna basically do it. Um, if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I can't exactly help you with every single question you're gonna have unfortunately really the best advice I can give when it comes to this kind of thing is just to play around with it and see what you can come up with um, of course always reference the wiki the documentation there feel free to ask questions on the forums um, I would maybe instead of asking on the Gary's mod forums ask on the source SDK forums just because you're probably gonna run into people there who are more experienced with that kind of thing and uh, feel free to ask on our discord um, you can get there by going to discord.gg slash source engine uh, we're also searchable now on the sidebar in that like little explore server icon there in discord so uh, stop by and give us a shout and show us what you've been working on and if you have any I guess requests for what you would like to see in other tutorials and things like that um, leave a comment about those as well anyway I'm gonna go play some Phoenix Point and uh, maybe catch up on some reading. So until next time, I am going to sign off.